Hey everyone! So today I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks on how to live with a free roam bunny. Lennon has been free roam for over a year now and she loves it. Uh, she just feels so free and she never liked being enclosed to begin with. It is a very rewarding experience to come home from work and know that your bunny is waiting for you at the door and that she's had plenty of exercise and freedom to run around. So let's get started! As far as cords and wires, I try not to have a lot plugged in, but when I do, I just use these cord covers that I got at Home Depot for a few bucks. For miscellaneous wires, um, such as my internet and modem stuff, I keep that tucked into a bin um, that I just slide right under my bed and it actually looks better. I don't have anything dangling around um, and she doesn't have any access to it, so it's safe. There are some things I like to have at hand, such as her pellets and a first aid kit, her comb, and she has some toys down there at her disposal. Now I want to get to the NIC grids because they're truly multi-purpose, so I'm going to show you a few ways you can use them. The first way is to protect your baseboards. We all know bunnies love to chew these things. And it can be an eyesore, but as long as you hide them behind furniture, uh, they can also be kind of discreet and you won't really notice them. The second way is for your couch. I know it looks a bit silly, but it's so easy to just pull right off when you get home. And you can try different ways of positioning them as well. The third way is you can make a playpen out of them, cages out of them. You just zip tie them together and you can use them to barricade certain parts of the house if you're cleaning. Uh, but they are temporary blockades because it's very lightweight, which is also a good thing because they're portable and you can take them anywhere with you. Now coming back to the couch again, in case you can't get your hands on these grids, definitely use a blanket or a towel and just tuck those edges in. I've also seen some people cover their whole couch. Whatever works for you, it just comes right off. Next we have the pet cam. Okay, some people might think this is taking it too far, but I don't feel that way. I know a lot of dog and cat people who have this for their pets, so I should be able to have one for my bunny. I can make sure she's happy, healthy, and most importantly, not getting into any mischief. You can watch from wherever you are in the world and even talk to your pet through the microphone. It also sends you motion detection alarms, which is cool. As a free roam bunny, Lennon does use a litter box. We keep this one in the bathroom and I bought the container at the 99 cent store. Uh, we use orchard grass and paper based bedding with her. It's very important that your bunny gets unlimited hay every day because they like to spend a lot of time in there. The other thing I can recommend is bitter apple spray, which you just spritz on any furniture or objects you don't want your bunny chewing on. It is temporary and you do have to keep respraying, but it works. My flooring is laminate, uh, so I did have to get Lennon a rug that she could hop around on and binky on and have something to grip onto. I had to make sure the rug wasn't something that she could tear to shreds or ingest the fibers of and uh, she seems to really like it. Speaking of rugs, I have to highly recommend getting a cordless vacuum. That way you don't have to worry about your bunny chewing up the cord. Uh, I use this one which I'll link in the box below. As far as where she sleeps, she sleeps right under my bed where she has a bed of her own. Last but not least, toys are so important. If you're like me, your bunny has tons of toys. It keeps them from being bored and keeps them from being destructive. And remember, an entertained bunny is a happy bunny. I hope you've enjoyed these tips and tricks that I use for myself and my bunny. I know they won't work for everyone, but I hope you can try them. Be sure to check Lennon out on Instagram at LennonTheBunny. And let me know in the comments section what tips and tricks you use. Thanks again!